Alright, so in this run, I'm showcasing the power of Cupcake Crab. Typically, you want an Otter start, which is exactly what I got here. Cricket is a pretty good unit to buff. It's not the best. I would say you're looking for, like, Fish or Mosquito, but Cricket, probably the third best buff, to be, uh, just because it spawns that extra thing, which means, like, if you do happen to trade, it can maybe pop the next unit's melon armor, or it can, like, if you put it in the back, it can cause you to win instead of draw. So it's a pretty decent unit to buff, and... Again, just rolling for otters pretty much. The advantage of finding otters this early is so significant that it's pretty much all you look for, and that's what I've done here. It seems like a terrible strat because you only have two units, but it turns out when you can go Cupcake Crab later, you just have a really significant advantage. So even though we lost a giant horse build there, it doesn't matter. We still have eight hearts to work with here. And now uh, tier two. So crabs are unlocked and cupcakes are unlocked. So it's a perfect time to go for this strategy. I just buy a shrimp here just to like sell next turn, but just to fill out the squad because uh, most likely I'll trade with the otter and then the shrimp will win me the game. It didn't happen there, but you know, just in case. And I actually get double cupcake, so extremely lucky. You don't even need to go double cupcake crab, but uh, suddenly we have a 316 crab. So if you don't know how it works, cupcake gives temporary stats. You can tell by the little underline uh, under the stats of the animal. It's a 1516. But when you buy a crab, it copies that health and its stats are permanent. So we now have a permanent 316 crab, even though the stats on the cricket went back to 910. And now it can put meat and its stats are a little bit evened out because now it's an 816, which is extremely good for turn five. And at this point, I'm just going to look for more crabs. Although I take a turtle for this turn because, you know, always take turtle. It's pretty good. Crabs in general, I would say an A tier unit. It is very good and... Along with this otter strat, it makes it, like, just honestly way too good. Uh, they should probably nerf otters somehow. We were thinking about this on stream, and Cal actually had a really good suggestion. Instead of buffing one unit, like plus two, plus two, and then plus three, plus three, you make it more like the giraffe, where it actually buffs two things, plus one, plus one. So when it levels up, two random friends, plus one, plus one, level three three random friends plus one plus one now i think that would be a significant nerf but like not completely ruin the unit and uh i think it's a great idea and maybe they'll hear this and implement that although i highly doubt it maybe i should like post in their feedback or something but yeah so we continue to cupcake crab here and we already have what are the stats on that crab a 423 crab on turn seven it's kind of ridiculous how fast this scales and the giraffe is just for that extra scaling. We put it behind the unit with just the most HP so that we can continue the chain. And then I buy a pair. So I should probably reposition here, to be honest, put the strongest crab in front. And uh, also the giraffe gives it some much needed attack. Otherwise, its stats would be really uneven. And like eight attack is going to fall off pretty quick. But now it has 12 attack, so it's not too bad. Now I'm just continuing to buy pairs, get its HP up. I found that when I was doing this crab strat, it's usually a good idea to just go for one really powerful crab, and then have the others just be like, you know, normal stats, or, I mean, very uneven stats, where they're like a 328 or whatever it's going to be, and that's fine. It's not super important to have like a bunch of medium strong units. You usually just want that really beefy unit, and that's pretty much your whole team. But we also have that Melon Armor Cricket, which is a pretty good second unit. Uh... So, this strat falls off a bit later, for sure. Like, I would say by turn 9, this is when I'm usually looking to, like, sell the crabs. But, you know, in this arena run, I just had to go all in for it. And there's a monkey that's just much better than giraffe. I assume that... Oh, wait. No, I rolled past the monkey? Wait, what am I doing? I guess I was just anticipating finding that next crab. I knew that was going to happen. Of course, it was all planned but usually you would take a monkey over a giraffe you don't want a giraffe this late in the game but uh sometimes i make mistakes you know i'm not a perfect player but apparently i'm like number one in elo i should brag about that while i can i briefly hit number one in the elo rankings on uh donut Seas discord the high elo gamers you can join if you want rank lobbies are a lot of fun all you need to do is join the discord and then just join a lobby and We'll input the results and it'll uh, give you an elo. It's pretty fun. Nice way to like mix up the gameplay. And uh, if you like verses, you should definitely check it out. It's also a good way to be humbled when you realize that like 
you may think that you're pretty good at the game and then you realize okay well there's people who are very good at this game and apparently everyone in arena sucks but like i mean that's a mean way to look at it uh stake pretty helpful here put it in the second spot so like if they have one really strong unit with melon armor at their front then hopefully the stake will be able to finish that off run into summoning build uh crabs are actually very good against summoning builds because we just have such high health and usually it's just a decent amount of like slightly weaker units so actually able to beat that one but uh it will fall off very quick because we have like absolutely no scaling pretty much so the only thing we can do is hope for more crabs in the shop and then buy onto the weakest one to kind of give it like a little more health so I went from a 720 to 834 not too bad and now I'm just looking for food and double pizza is perfect that's exactly what you want and I'm just praying at this point that we win as quick as possible because once we lose one round it honestly could be over because like people just scale so quickly and this falls off pretty fast but luckily that didn't happen and there we go 10 wins with just five crabs if you can win the early game a lot then you can just uh you don't have to think about late game so this worked out really well but cupcake crab would highly recommend going for in the early game anyway thanks for watching see ya